After going through all the long lines, lost luggage, cancelled flights, and TSA agents, you must face one more thing when you reach your seat. Please turn off all electronic devices during takeoff. But why? Why is this important? For a mobile phone, for example, to connect to a wireless network or cellular telephone tower, it first needs to establish a connection with the cellular towers or router or any other receiver. And in order to establish this connection, our devices transmit radio waves. The strength of the radio waves depends on whether the cellular tower is closed or not. The closer, the weaker the radio wave is. But other devices like Kindles, iPods, laptops, and even handheld gaming consoles emit strong radio waves, especially in a compact area. The concern here is that these radio wave signals may interfere with navigation, radar, ground communication, and other technologies of an airplane. Although no studies or evidence have proven that large amounts of unprotected radio waves might cause equipment malfunction, theoretically it is very possible. In fact, there is a surplus of anecdotal evidence suggesting that radio waves can cause safety issues during flight. However, depending on both the airline and the country, some devices can be used on board. In the US, the Federal Communication Commission FCC, has outlawed using a phone while the plane is off the ground. Regardless of the airline, this restriction is set by the FCC because it turned out that using cell phones and wireless devices interfere with ground communications or ground networks. The Federal Aviation Administration FAA, upheld the FCC decision, but some airlines allow passengers to use cell phones in airplane mode, which shuts off phone transmissions. The FCC briefly considered lifting the in-flight ban on wireless devices, but in 2007 they decided to keep the rules as is. Because there wasn't any enough evidence to prove whether electronic devices cause harmful interference with ground networks or not, so they decided to play it safe. So legally, you are required to comply with the crew's instructions, Failure to do so violates a federal law found in Part 14 of the Code of Federal Regulations. You can check the links in the description below. Subscribe for more videos, turn on post notification, like the video if you do. Thanks for watching.